Hello, hello everyone, and welcome again to another LEGO Bionicle review. For today, guys, we are looking at the LEGO Bionicle Gathering of the Toa, graphic novel number one. Now, guys, this book, or I should say this comic book, was released in December 29, 2015, which was... Ooh, close to a year from today, but uh, it is for the ages of 8 to 12, guys, containing 80 pages. But anyway, guys, uh, let's get straight into it. Here it is, The Gathering of the Toa. You can see there is the front cover, a beautiful front cover, I have to say. And um, you can see there, guys, we have the Master of Earth, Onua, right there. Then we have the Master of Fire, Tahu. And the Master of Water, Gali, there. Uh, surprisingly, you don't see the other three, uh, which I don't understand why, but um, interesting, interesting. You can also see here, guys, it says there, bonus pages, secrets, codes, maps, and more. And uh, we'll get into that very, very soon. Now, if I actually turn this book around, it just shows you here, kind of like a uh, blurb or, you know explaining to you what this thing is. Oh, there, oh, there it is. So there is Master of Stone Pohatu. There is Lord of the Skulls there, or Lord of the Skull Spiders. And there is Vizuna, the Protector of Jungle. Very, very cool. And then here it is. That's just the blurb. You know how it is. Kind of explain the story to you, blah, blah, blah. And there is the almighty and awesome, and my favorite, Master of Ice Kopaka. And then, obviously, you guys can also see Master of Jungle Liwa. Very, very nice. And there is Tahu again. Oh, he, he gets to feature twice. Very cool. And there is also a Skull Spider uh, latching onto his chest there, or I think pushing or something like that. But very, very nice back cover, I have to say, as well. Very, very nice. Now, let's get into the actual book, guys. And here we are looking at the first page, and you can see their very nice picture of the Mask of Creation. Now, I have to also add, guys, this is practically, I should say, very similar to the graphic novel number two, except this storyline here, guys, actually talks further in the future. So after the actual battle between the brothers Makuta and Ikimu, and of course you guys you must know the story guys, I have mentioned it many times in my past videos, but uh, you know, this is kind of moving forward into the future where they actually have to gather the Toa in order to actually find Ikimu and obviously stop the, you know, evil, etc, etc. But more of the story kind of actually talks about the Lord of the Skull Spiders and mainly to do with the fact how they actually come and invade each of the elemental villages. So each of the six villages were actually invaded by the Skull Spiders and uh, the protectors obviously had to do their best to protect the actual villagers. However, it wasn't enough because there were just too many of the Skull Spiders taking over of the villagers and, uh, you know, controlling their minds and stuff like that. So what happened was, guys, they actually had to go to the Temple of Time and somehow I think, um, I'm not exactly sure, but I think preach out, or not preach, that's not the right word, but uh, to call out the actual Toas uh, to come down and obviously find their golden masks, which Ikimu initially built, or I should say created for them, and uh, I guess to fight against the Lord of the Skull Spiders and the Skull Spiders, but thus actually finding Ikimu... That's the main, that was their main purpose, but obviously to actually help out in Okoto. So there they are, guys. You can see uh, the nice artwork there. Of course, uh, Bionicle, uh, I should say Lego, used these pictures for the actual front covers of the boxes. Uh, pretty obvious there, but yeah, you can see them there. Very, very nice. And uh, there you can also see more artwork there. And uh, here it actually starts. Now, guys, also very interestingly enough and surprising, and uh, I just realized it before when I actually flipped through the comic, and uh, it's actually to do with the Lego Bionicle issue too magazine where you know in Polish where I actually kind of showed you guys the you know the overall uh, comic strip things like that in the in the book or the magazine sorry it's exactly the same however it's just in Polish and I was like oh okay that's interesting so um, I just realized uh, yeah, I just realized that now, and uh, I'll kind of show you the comparison between them both later on. So here they are, guys. You can see um, there is Vizuna, the protector of jungle. There he is there. Awesome. There's Vizuna. Very interesting, though, guys, is the fact that Vizuna's weapon here looks more like a gun than anything. Uh, for those of you who have actually seen the uh, Vizuna set, 
his uh, his actual bow and arrow. There is a long, I think it's a six, a size six pin axle, and it kind of sticks out, and uh, more looks like a bow and arrow there. Here, it more looks like a gun, because you can kind of see the way he's holding the weapon, and that's just a surprise to me. That's very interesting, and I don't understand that. But anyway, let's just get into it, guys. Let's just get into it. Who really cares anyway? Uh, so here, just, you know, more artwork, etc. It is a nice book, I have to say. Definitely, uh, you know, something to collect. Uh, however, obviously reading it as well is definitely a bonus, of course. Um, but you can see it there, guys. Uh, that's where they actually meet up all together in order to, you know, call out to the Toas. And uh, you can see it here. Uh, there's actually a little uh, line here where they're like, uh, have the stars aligned yet? And then Korgot, uh, you know... Obviously, he tell, tells them that, you know, patience, young friends, uh, and trust that the heroes will come. So, of course, they're waiting for the masters to get here in order to, um, you know, fight against the Lord of the Skull Spiders and his little uh, companions, if that's the right word to use. And there, you can kind of see it. Uh, you can see how they've all come down, and um, that's, yeah, that's just kind of... The idea. This book here, they actually do individual storylines for each of the protectors and their masters, which is quite it's quite cool, I have to say. But um, you don't really see them together until the end. So here you can see there is Korgot, the protector of Earth. He finds Anua, and surprisingly though, Anua in this actual um, storyline, he actually doesn't know his name. Uh, my name's Anua. See, he doesn't even realize his name's Anua. I kind of wondered, I actually wanted to know as to where they actually originated from. So I know they came from Shooting Stars, but how do they get to where they are now? Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Very interesting. And then obviously there are the other uh, five monsters there and they land in their designated areas. And um, you can see there, and uh, just more stuff here. There is Kopaka, the awesome Kopaka. And like I said, guys, um, this is the, this is now Kopaka's storyline. They'll show it soon. Here is just kind of the pre, uh, not preview, kind of like a uh, uh, a reminder of exactly what happened uh, to the brothers, and you know how the Mask of Creation was worn by Ikimu, Mask of Control by Makuta, and it says here that. Ikimu's masks were more treasured, and uh, obviously that's where the jealousy came in from Makuta, and you can see it there. There's his uh, hammer of power, and you can see there, he obviously tries to remove the mask of ultimate power off Makuta, thus causing them to, you know, go through a huge explosion, or there it says shockwave, and uh, they went into a huge... Uh, I guess a huge uh, hibernation, if that's the right word. But no, I'm just joking. Not hibernation, a huge sleep. And uh, obviously that's where the toys have to come and try find him. And it says here as well, uh, the ancestors hid the masks in ancient shrines where the masks have remained for thousands of years. So that's also, you know, just another thing to let you all know. So like I said, guys, this is Kopaka's story now with the Master of Ice. And uh, I can't remember the name of Ice. Uh, anyway, anyway, I can't remember his name. Of course, I don't want to explain the whole story to you guys because it kind of kills the whole point of getting the book. But I do recommend you guys to get the book. The artwork is phenomenal. It is beautiful, guys. I honestly, if you do love artwork or any type of comic artwork, I do recommend you guys to get this book because it is very, very nice, I have to say. Um, just, you know, there, see, like I said, guys, here is now uh, the Protector of Fire. There's Narmoto, Protector of Fire Narmoto, and the Master of Fire Tahu together. So that's now their storyline, etc, etc. Let's just keep going, and then blah, blah, blah. Now there is Vizuna, and uh, uh, Master of <laughs> Jungle Liwa. There you can see there as well. And uh, I don't know why, when I look at Liwa, he's kind of got like an innocent looking face. <laughs> but anyway, let's just keep going, guys. More stuff here. And this is what I was meaning, guys. So if you have remembered, or if you did go through my Lego Barnacle Magazine issue 2 review, please do go check it out, though, guys. Please do go check it out. You can see it. Uh, let me just uh, bring out the page so then I can show you all what I mean. But here it is in the actual... Uh, Issue 2 of the magazine, and except it's just in Polish writing. But yeah, that's practically it, guys. That's all I wanted to practically show you all. But uh, yeah, so let's just keep going now. And uh, you can see there is the, uh, you know, now it's just Gali and Kavoda's story. Now, interesting enough, though, guys, as well as Kavoda, uh, in the Polish magazine, they get the name wrong. They write down Kivodo, not Kivoda. Um, I'll just show you guys all. See, you can see it there at the top. It says Kivoda. So it says Kivoda there. You can see that it's Kivodo. Kivodo. 
Now, I don't know why they did that. Uh, it's just, it's odd to me. Um, very odd. And, um, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know. Who really cares anyway? But, there it is. Just more artwork there. Cree, cree! And then there was obviously Roar there. And, um, I still don't know what the heck that thing is, though. I really want to know what that is. Um, but there's Pohatu, Master of Stone, etc, etc. And then, uh, Heroes United. So if you really want an English translation of the LEGO Magazine uh, issue 2, come and get this book here, guys, because it practically gives the same storyline, except this is just in English, obviously. So there is the Rao, if you guys remember, that's the Rao that I did mention before. And uh, yeah, anyway, I'm just blabbing now too much. Very importantly enough is, of course, you know, you are true heroes, as mentioned by Ikimu. You must hurry and find my resting place. So, of course, that's what I was meaning by their uh, main purpose was obviously to find Ikimu, to obviously stop evil uh, coming and, uh, I guess, fighting against evil, etc, etc. Now, going to the end of the book here, uh, you can see it's just a picture of the Mask of Creation. And uh, it kind of tells you about the story of the Protector's Guide. So, here you can see... Um, it kind of gives you background about who they were, what they did, and uh, things like that. It's pretty simple stuff. There is the Moss Makers there, kind of giving you a background about them, what they did. So there is, uh, you know, there is uh, Makuta there trying to create a mask. There is Ikimu. Very, very nice detail. And, uh, of course, there you can see it, guys, how he, you know, took off the Mask of Ultimate Power. Or I should say off Makuta. But, yeah etc etc so like I said just more information and background about the whole purpose of actually what happened with Okoto etc uh, but anyway map of Okoto so obviously you guys must know about what happened to Okoto so Okoto was just one big island but after the mask of ultimate power you know was uh, removed by Ikimu it caused this huge explosion and it kind of separated the island into these six elemental kind of um, lands and uh, that's very that's a very unique feature I like about how Lego kind of created this storyline. And uh, there's just more stuff here. And then it kind of just shows you here the, you know, the regions. So the Shrine of the Mask of Ice. So kind of giving you an idea of what is out there in the actual island itself. But, um, I don't know, Just I'll just zoom in there for you all to kind of look. But there you can see those are the different masks. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it guys, that is pretty much it. And uh, what else can I show you guys? There is the Temple of Time. So, oh, that's very cool. They give you a uh, background about the Temple of Time and the Mask of Time as well. And then it gives you more information about the current protectors uh, that are now, you know, in the current line. So not like back in Ikimu's time where there were actually different protectors. And uh, yeah, so there's more stuff there. Then here, obviously, the Masters. You can see them there, etc., etc. And here is Lord of the Skull Spiders, a background about Lord of the Skull Spiders, and uh, a bit more information about them. So here it says Lord of the Skull Spiders, spits sticky webbing at the enemies, and is also the master of a powerful deathlock attack that can squeeze the air out of even the toughest hero. Whoa, okay, that sounds uh, very uh, disturbing, because I wouldn't want to be in that situation for sure. But uh, anyway, let's keep going, guys. And then here's more skull spiders there. Giving you a very in-depth look as to what they do. Oh, nice. So blue skull spiders are not easily crushed by heavy weights or hard impacts. Oh, they have, oh, so they have different characteristics. That's pretty cool. Oh, x-ray vision and green skull spiders can Oh, they can find prey in total darkness. So these guys kind of have, like, night vision, which is pretty cool. And uh, subspecies of the skull spiders. Um, silver skull spiders are the fastest, so they must be super fast. Very cool, wow. And then here is just kind of a, you know, a uh, talk about the Golden Mask of Power. And it says it right there, Crafted by Ikimu, the mask maker, the sixth Golden Mask of Power, among the many masks that became scattered all over the island, yada yada yada. And uh, once claimed, the Golden Mask gave each of the Toas unique powers to control an element. And of course, you know what their elements are. And uh, very cool enoughly though, guys, they actually have given us the alphabets of the Barnacle language if that's how you want to call it but there you obviously you can just decode that yourselves and very cool how they have the uh, you know 
the symbols there. I like that. But uh, that's practically my review done on this book. I hope you guys have all enjoyed this video. Uh, please do smash the thumbs up button, guys. It is important that I know that you guys do like these videos. As well as that, do subscribe to my channel so you guys are up to date to you know about what's happening on my channel, what videos I've uploaded, etc., etc. As well as that, oh, can't forget that. Do share my videos around too, guys. That is an important, uh, you know, that's an important, I guess, feature to do, or not feature, what's the right word to use? Um, it's just a good way of getting my videos out there so people are, you know, kind of know who's out there, kind of know who I am, things like that. But um, anyway, guys, I'm just blabbing now. I hope you all have enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a great day. I will be talking to you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.